It's Tuesday, September 8, 2020. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I am on my way to Bar Harbor for my bi-weekly grocery shopping trip. Right now, I am at the west end of Southwest Harbor. I've come about five miles, and we'll continue to Bar Harbor. Let's take a look at the harbor now. Well, there is Southwest Harbor. Over there is the Great Harbor Marina. And one thing I can say is, the harbor is starting to thin out a little already. Some boats have already disappeared for the season. So, here we are the day after Labor Day, and the tourist season is already showing signs of slowing down. Today I'm going to uh, make a stop. Sorry, I'm right next to a road, so there's a lot of traffic. I'm going to make a stop in Northeast Harbor on my way to Bar Harbor, and then we will have a look at Bar Harbor. And for reference, it's 10.15 a.m. All right, right now I am in downtown Southwest Harbor. It's about 10.20. And I thought I'd show you what it looks like here. A lot of traffic driving through. I'm right on Main Street. And you can see it's uh, pretty quiet. Little restaurant that's closed. I don't know if it's closed for the day. Yeah, it's closed for the day. They're open Tuesday to Saturday. And there's the other end of town. So I just wanted to show you how busy it is here on September 8, 2020. Okay, I'm on my way to Northeast Harbor right now. I took the scenic route, which is called Sargent Drive, which runs along the east side of Soames Sound, which is what we're looking at right now, looking north towards Soames Harbor up there. And here's a sailboat beating into light air. Uh, as they try to sail out of the sound. Man of War Brook over there, which I was at the other day in Tortuga and there was almost no water running in it. And, and past this little bit of uh, shrubbery. That's Valley Cove with a few boats anchored over there. For people who follow sailing channels, SV Delos was uh, anchored over there last week. I don't know if they're still there. And then looking south out of Somme Sound. Right here I am in Acadia National Park and it's Acadia National Park on the other side of the sound too. So let's head into Northeast Harbor and see what's going on there. I should say though that as I've driven Sergeant Drive here so far I have seen four cars in about three miles. Hey, I am in downtown Northeast Harbor right now, and you can see, uh, although the street is pretty parked up, I had no trouble finding a parking spot. There's a little traffic, mostly local people. And there are a few, I think I've seen about six people, walking along the street here. It is, to be fair, about 10.45 in the morning. You can see there's lots of parking available right up there. So this is downtown Northeast Harbor on Tuesday, September 8, 2020, the day after Labor Day. Let's go down to the harbor and see how busy it is. Okay, I'm down at the harbor in Northeast Harbor, and I have to say that it's pretty thin. It does not look like there are a lot of visiting boats out on moorings. The marina, on the other hand, is relatively busy. There have been quite a few big boats up here this year, more than in a normal year. I'm going to walk over and show you the rest of the marina in a second. Okay, now we're looking at the uh, main part of the marina for where smaller boats dock. And uh, surprisingly, there are a lot of empty slips. Normally, this time of the year, the marina would be completely full, but it is far from full now, and the harbor moorings are also, also far from full. So, as you can see, there are a few people walking around down here, 
but they mostly seem to be people that are uh, working here. Here's the Harbor Master's office, the restrooms, and up there the Kimball Terrace Inn, which looked relatively empty. Most of the cars here in the parking lot have main plates. There are a few tourists. There's a New Jersey car. But uh, these are mostly local people. And there goes the ferry over to the Cranberry Islands. So, pretty quiet here in Northeast Harbor on September 8, 2020, the day after Labor Day. Well, right now I'm about a three quarters of a mile north of Northeast Harbor, and this is parking for a carriage road access. And uh, there are several spots still open. I had no trouble finding a place to park. It's about 11.15. Let's walk over and take a look at the carriage road. Well, here I am at the beginning of the carriage road here at the Brown Mountain Gatehouse. And there uh, are very few people on this bit of the carriage road. Two people just came off. And there are a couple more people back there that might be heading up. But as you can see, it's quite peaceful and you could have a very pleasant walk here and uh, probably encounter very few people. A week ago, or even yesterday, I probably would not have been able to find a place to park here. We're going to go from the peace and quiet over here on the carriage road into Bar Harbor. All right, I'm approaching Bar Harbor now, and we're going to go past the Eagle Lake carriage road access and see how busy it looks today. Well, I can see a few cars parked alongside the road, but it's nothing like a week ago. It's currently 1130 and uh, plenty of room to park alongside the road. As I get down here, I'll peer in and see what the actual parking lot looks like. It looks pretty full, but you would be able to park alongside the road and go for a walk on the carriage road here only about a mile from downtown Bar Harbor. Here we are driving into Bar Harbor, and there's not much traffic, as you can see. Last time I was here, uh, I spent about 10 minutes covering the half mile from uh, Main Street to the stoplight, and uh, today it doesn't look like it's going to take quite that long. I mean, there is some traffic. There's something going on here. And a church. Probably some sort of funeral or something. Yeah, there's a hearse. <laughs> and uh, we'll continue up here. And we're about a block and a half from Main Street. And we'll take a look at the Village Green as we go by. like most of the inns I've passed have had vacancies. And I'll see if I can find a place to park. Here's the Village Green. There are people there, but uh, nowhere near as crowded as it was the last time I was here. Okay, I'm going to stop shooting video till I get around this corner. Okay, this is Main Street, Bar Harbor. It's 11.33 on Tuesday, September 8, 2020. I'll park a little further down, I think. Assuming I see another parking place. Now there are people here walking around, not a huge number. Not everybody is wearing a mask, but most people seem to be. And I have to take it very slow through here just because of people who decide to walk diagonally across the street away from a crosswalk. And we'll go down to the harbor and see what it looks like. Actually, compared to uh, two weeks ago, there are more people on the street than there were. Probably because we're getting close to lunchtime and people are 
looking for a place to grab something to eat. Let's see if there's any place to park down here. Here's Agamont Park. Looking uh, not that busy. And uh, pickup truck's a little hard to squeeze into a spot like that. But it still looks pretty busy here. And I'll head on over to the town dock where I'll turn around and we'll take a look over there. There's the four-masted schooner Margaret Todd. Looks like she's getting ready to go out. There are quite a few people on board. And a big yacht anchored out there. A couple smaller ones, including a few fairly good-sized ones tied up here at the town dock. And uh, the parking lot down here is pretty full. There are a few spots, but I don't feel like walking over and using my credit card to pay at the kiosk for 25 cents. Harbor, other than the big yachts, looks pretty empty. back that way toward the Bar Island Causeway. And I'll continue shooting video as I drive back up Main Street and turn onto Cottage Street to go over to the supermarket. I'm going to pause for just a little bit until we get back over to Main Street. Okay, here we go up Main Street. As I said, pretty parked up. I saw a few parking spots, but nothing I wanted to try and wedge my pickup truck into. This pickup truck's a little harder to park than a regular car. And a well, fair number of people on the street. Not super crowded, but you know there are people walking around. As I said, it's a mix of people with and without masks. Here's Cottage Street, where I'm going to turn, and we're going to head on down to the supermarket. Okay, here we go. Pretty parked up here. A few people eating. But not uh, super crowded on the street re relative to the number of cars that are here. Which is kind of interesting. And we got somebody who's decided to stop there. For some reason. as we continue down Cottage Street toward the supermarket. Don't understand people who leave a door hanging open out into the street. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up Bar Harbor on September 8, 2020. It is now 11.38. And I'm just about to the supermarket, so I'll end the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing just uh, how things look on Tuesday, September 8, 2020, the day after Labor Day, here on Mount Desert Island. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Don't forget to click that notification bell. And give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks again for watching.